Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Comprehensive Guide to Troubleshooting Buffering Issues on STB Emulator Buffering issues in STB Emulator can be frustrating. They disrupt your viewing experience and prevent you from enjoying your IPTV service. This comprehensive guide aims to equip you with a thorough understanding of the common causes of buffering and provide you with practical solutions to minimize or eliminate them. We'll cover everything from basic network checks to advanced settings adjustments, and even delve into server-side considerations, though these are typically beyond the user's control. I understanding the root causes of buffering asterisk. Buffering occurs when the rate at which your STB emulator device receives data from the IPTV server is slower than the rate at which it's trying to play the video. This leads to gaps in the playback and the dreaded buffering icon. Several factors can contribute to this. 1. Internet connection speed asterisk the most obvious culprit. Insufficient bandwidth makes it difficult to stream high quality video smoothly. 2. Network congestion asterisk even with a fast internet connection, your network might be congested. This means multiple devices are simultaneously using your bandwidth, reducing the available speed for STB emulator. 3. Wi-Fi issues asterisk Wi-Fi can be unreliable, especially if there's interference or the signal is weak. A wired Ethernet connection is almost always more stable and faster. 4. Server-side issues, IPTV provider The IPTV server itself might be overloaded, experiencing technical problems, or located far away geographically. This is outside your direct control. 5. STB emulator settings asterisk incorrect or suboptimal settings in the STB emulator app can contribute to buffering. 6. Device performance asterisk an old or underpowered device might struggle to decode and play high definition streams. 7. VPN usage asterisk while VPNs can improve privacy, they can also add latency and reduce speed, especially if the VPN server is far away or overloaded. 8. Codec problems asterisk STB emulator might struggle with a specific video codec used by the IPTV stream. 2. Preliminary troubleshooting steps asterisk asterisk. Before diving into STB emulator settings, perform these basic checks to rule out common issues. 1. Check your internet speed asterisk. Asterisk use a speed test website like speedtest.net or fast.com on your STB emulator device or another device on the same network. Asterisk compare the results to the minimum speed recommended by your IPTV provider, usually 5 to 10 Mbps for standard definition, 15 to 25 Mbps for HD, and 25 plus Mbps for 4K. Asterisk if your speed is significantly lower than expected, contact your ISP. 2. Reboot your router and modem asterisk. Asterisk unplug your router and modem, wait 30 seconds, and plug them back in. This can often resolve temporary network glitches. 3. Close unnecessary apps asterisk. Asterisk on your STB emulator device, Close any apps that are running in the background and using bandwidth. 4. Restart your STB emulator device asterisk. Asterisk a simple restart can often clear up temporary software issues. 5. Try a different channel slash stream asterisk. Asterisk if buffering only occurs on specific channels, the problem might be with the stream itself, not your setup. Contact your IPTV provider about the issue. 6. Wired vs. Wireless Connection Asterisk Asterisk Connect your STB emulator device directly to your router using an Ethernet cable. If the buffering improves significantly, the problem is likely with your Wi-Fi connection. 3. Optimizing STB emulator settings Asterisk Asterisk if the preliminary steps don't resolve the buffering, adjust the STB emulator settings. These settings can have a significant impact on performance. 
1. Accessing STB Emulator Settings Asterisk Asterisk Open the STB Emulator app Asterisk Press the Menu or Settings button on your remote control, the exact button may vary depending on your remote. If you're using an Android device without a remote, tap the screen, and the menu slash settings icons should appear. Asterisk Navigate to Settings, or Configure Application or Similar. Two important settings and their impact asterisk. Asterisk Profile Asterisk, if you're using multiple profiles, ensure you're using the correct profile that contains your IPTV provider's information. Asterisk STB Model Asterisk, located under Common Settings. Asterisk Experiment with different STB models. Some models might perform better than others on your device. Common choices are, MAG-250, MAG-254, MAG-322, or HD. Asterisk Asterisk Example MAG Device Configuration Asterisk Asterisk MAC Address Asterisk, located under Common Settings. Asterisk This is a unique identifier for your STB. Your IPTV provider needs this MAC address to authorize your service. Ensure it's entered correctly, usually provided by your IPTV provider. Sometimes, changing the STB model forces a MAC address reset. Verify the correct MAC address is listed. Asterisk Portal URL Asterisk, located under Portal Settings. Asterisk This is the address of your IPTV provider's server. Ensure it's entered correctly provided by your IPTV provider. A typo here will prevent you from connecting. Asterisk asterisk example portal URL asterisk. Asterisk video player asterisk, located under player settings. Asterisk STB emulator typically offers a choice between its built-in player and external players, like MX player or VLC. Asterisk asterisk built-in player asterisk generally optimized for the app, but might have limitations with certain codecs. Asterisk external player, MX player slash VLC can often handle a wider range of codecs and offer more customization options. Install MX player or VLC from the Google Play Store, or equivalent, if you choose to use them. Asterisk try both the built-in player and an external player to see which performs better with your streams if using an external player, you might need to configure it separately for optimal performance, example hardware decoding. Asterisk asterisk example setting to use MX player asterisk. Asterisk you may need to allow STB emulator to access the files. Asterisk decoder asterisk, located under player settings. Asterisk this setting determines how video is decoded. Options usually include Asterisk asterisk hardware decoder asterisk uses your device's hardware to decode video. This is generally more efficient and results in smoother playback, but it might not work with all codecs. Asterisk asterisk software decoder asterisk uses your device's CPU to decode video. This is less efficient and can strain your device, potentially leading to buffering, especially on older devices. Asterisk choose hardware decoder if available and your device supports it. If you experience issues, try software decoder as a fallback. Asterisk asterisk example setting to enable hardware decoder asterisk. Asterisk buffer size, if available may be located under advanced settings or similar. Asterisk some versions of STB emulator allow you to adjust the buffer size. Increasing the buffer size can help smooth out playback by allowing the app to store more data ahead of time. However, a very large buffer can also increase latency, delay when changing channels. Asterisk experiment with slightly increasing the buffer size to see if it improves buffering. A moderate increase is usually best, example from 1 MB to 2 MB or 4 MB. Don't increase it excessively. 
Asterisk example settings if buffer size is adjustable asterisk. Asterisk display aspect ratio asterisk, located under display settings. Asterisk ensure the aspect ratio is correctly configured to match your TV. This avoids distorted images. Common options are auto, 4 colon 3, and 16 colon 9. Auto is usually the best choice. Asterisk HTTP user agent asterisk, located under advanced settings or similar. Asterisk this identifies your STB emulator to the IPTV server. In some cases, the IPTV provider may require a specific user agent. If you are using custom or non-standard user agents, then try the defaults for the STB model you are using. If you are using the default already, then leave this alone. Asterisk example user agent, for mag254. Note asterisk replace the xxxxxx in the serial number portion with your actual MAC address, without colons. 3 force hardware acceleration asterisk. Asterisk some versions of STB EMU don't expose an obvious hardware decoder setting, but rely more on device level settings. Force hardware acceleration within Android's developer settings if you know your device's GPU can handle the decoding asterisk. 4. Advanced troubleshooting, for tech savvy users. 1. Network optimization, QoS. Asterisk if you have a router that supports quality of service, QoS, prioritize traffic to your STB emulator device. This ensures that your IPTV stream receives the necessary bandwidth even when other devices are active on your network. Asterisk the specific QoS settings will vary depending on your router's model. Consult your router's manual or online documentation for instructions. 2 DNS server asterisk. Asterisk sometimes, using a different DNS server can improve connection speed and stability. Try using Google Public DNS, 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4, or Cloudflare DNS, 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1, in your router's settings. Asterisk changing DNS servers is done through your router's configuration page, not the STB emulator app itself. 3. MTU size asterisk. Asterisk the maximum transmission unit, MTU, is the largest packet size that can be transmitted over your network. A misconfigured MTU size can cause fragmentation and slow down your connection. Asterisk the ideal MTU size is usually 1500 bytes. You can test your MTU size using online tools or command line utilities. This is fairly advanced and not necessary for most users. Again, this change is made at the router level. For examine STB emulator logs, if available. Asterisk some versions of STB emulator provide logs that can offer clues about buffering issues. Check the app settings or documentation to see if log files are available and how to access them. Error messages in the logs might indicate problems with codecs, network connectivity, or server responses. V dealing with server-side issues, IPTV provider. If you've exhausted all the troubleshooting steps on your end and buffering persists, the problem might lie with the IPTV provider. Here's what you can do. 1. Contact your IPTV provider's support asterisk. Asterisk report the buffering issue to your IPTV provider's technical support. Provide them with details about the channels that are buffering, the time of day the buffering occurs, and any troubleshooting steps you've already taken. Asterisk they might be able to identify issues on their end, example server overload, routing problems, etc. To consider a different IPTV provider asterisk. Asterisk if your current IPTV provider consistently experiences buffering issues, and their support is unhelpful, it might be time to switch to a different provider. 
look for providers with a reputation for stable service and reliable servers. 3. Geographic location asterisk server distance matters. The closer the server is to you geographically, the less latency and potentially less buffering. 6. Device considerations asterisk asterisk. 1. Device specifications asterisk older, less powerful devices may struggle with high resolution streams, regardless of your settings. 2. Device storage asterisk a full storage drive might cause lag or buffering. 3. Device updates asterisk keep your device's firmware and OS updated. 7. Code example, illustrative, not directly applicable to STB emulator. While you can't directly modify the STB emulator code, this Python code snippet illustrates the concept of buffering and how a larger buffer can mitigate network fluctuations. Asterisk explanation asterisk. Asterisk the simulate underscore network underscore stream function represents the data flow from the IPTV server to your device. Asterisk buffer underscore size determines the size of the buffer. Asterisk network underscore speed simulates the data arrival rate from the server. Asterisk the code simulates network fluctuations using random dot uniform. Asterisk when the buffer is empty, it prints buffering. Asterisk running this code will demonstrate that a larger buffer helps absorb network fluctuations and reduces the likelihood of buffering. Important notes asterisk. Asterisk trial and error asterisk finding the optimal settings often involves some trial and error. Change one setting at a time and test for a while to see if it improves the buffering. Asterisk device specific issues asterisk some devices might have inherent limitations or quirks that can affect STB emulator performance. Research your specific device model online for known issues and potential workarounds. Asterisk keep software updated asterisk regularly update STB emulator and your device's operating system. Updates often include bug fixes and performance improvements. By systematically following these troubleshooting steps and understanding the various factors that can contribute to buffering, you can significantly improve your IPTV viewing experience on STB emulator. Remember to start with the basics and work your way through the more advanced solutions if necessary. Good luck!